Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to a new update. Uh, Umbonk had to go for it yesterday, got the all time highs. In the end, it uh, it did bro break above this level right here between 52 and 50,000. Uh, but in the end, it was a fake out. <laughs> all right, it, uh, it broke above but instantly broke down below and then respected it as resistance again. It did make an all time high. It did in the morning or in the afternoon, but um, in the end, never really broke above that 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 level. Never broke above the two point six one eight here. That's that blue line. Um, so yeah, the, the the main resistance level, I think, if you take a look at the chart right now, should actually be something like this. All right, so this is the main level that has to break through, and uh, breaking through that right now seems pretty difficult. All right, Solana, which Bonk is reliant on. Um, it's pretty bullish right now with the last candle, but apart from that, it, I mean, it did get a bearish breakout earlier this uh, this morning, right? So it's not looking so great with Bonk. And Bonk actually yesterday, as most of you know, uh, dropped down quite a bit, <laughs> all right? From this top, it dropped down a total of, of 38%, which is a huge drop. Um, when we take a look at the, the open interest, so how much momentum Bonk has, what you'll see is that that has also dropped down quite significantly um, here from uh, from around 67 million to 40 million. So there's a significant drop the drop too. And now we're seeing an increase of about 25%. But it's the question if Bonk will be able to recover. All right, all right. And I think that question will be answered by the technicals. All right, because if you take a look at the technicals now, on the one hour time frame, this looks like this could be a potential reversal, right? So that Bonk actually turns bearish now. Um, but on the other hand, on the four hour time frame, it still looks fine. Like it dropped down to the 28 EMA <laughs> and now it's 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 bullish again. So in my eyes, the 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 key is whether Bonk will be able to break back above this level right here. Let's say at 44,000. That's the main resistance. That is a key level. All right. You can see there's there's a lot of resistance right here between 40 and 44,000. Um, but it also has a 3A2 FIP, all right, which is very strong, especially for, for a coin like, like Bonk, uh, which, which has a lot of volume, a lot of, uh, yeah, just a lot of momentum. And it's just very trending right now, um, which like the 3A2 FIP is very strong if the market is trending. So what we'll see today is whether Bonk is able to break above 44,000 or not. If the answer is it breaks above that, it will get back up to that level around 50,000 and 50, uh, 54,000. And it has a chance to break above that level in order to get to the next price target, which I think is around 65,000. All right. So that's obviously what we want to see. But like I said, it depends on what happens today. We need to see that confirmation first. We need to see Bonk break above 44,000. If it's able to do that, Great, it's still bullish. It will retest the previous highs with the potential of breaking above that. Uh, depends a little bit on the open interest as well. I mean, the open interest right now is growing, but it's by far not uh, not big enough. Uh, so on the other hand, if Bonk is, is if Bonk breaks above that level, great. If Bonk is not able to break above that level today, and it breaks down below forty thousand again, then this might actually be the reversal. All right, because that is bearish confirmation. All right, it respects the 3A2 FIB and gets a bearish confirmation from that. Then I expect the bonk, bonk to fall down towards this level right here at 32, 30,000. And from there, it's going to be very, very hard to, to, to become bullish again. All right, so those are the two scenarios. If I would have to say what's most likely, I would say look at the four hour time frame and, uh, and it's most likely that Bonk will break above this level again, around 44,000, and we'll get some bullish momentum. All right. I would say that's most likely, but I would also say wait for confirmation. All right. So those are my thoughts today uh, on Bonk. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Have a great day. And if you are interested, as you can see at the top right there in my premium group or signals group, uh, links to that will be down in the description or the pinned comments. Uh, there you can find out a little bit more about that. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.